click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Well, friends, in the previous topic, we have discussed about the limitation of the Bose Atomic Theory. And now in this topic, let me talk about the salient features of the Wave Theory of Light. So what are those? Let me talk about that in this topic. <music> Friends, here I'm going to talk about the salient features of the wave theory of light. So talking about the first point, that is the light travels in a form of an electromagnetic wave. So what is actually electromagnetic wave? Electromagnetic wave is a combination of an electric wave and a magnetic wave. They are perpendicular to each other and they travel in a straight direction. And the velocity of every electromagnetic wave is the same and that is nothing but the speed of light. So based on that, let us understand that is how the wave propagates and how basically the electric field and magnetic field are quite perpendicular to each other and they travel in a straight path. So this can be explained with the help of a diagram. So the diagram here is, so here in the above diagram, as you can see, there are two waves. That is one is a blue colored and the one is red colored. So consider the blue color as the electric wave and the red one as a magnetic wave. As you can see that they, both the waves are traveling in a straight direction, but they are basically perpendicular to each other. And every wave travels in a form of, that is creating a crust and trough. And also every wave have different wavelength, frequency, as well as amplitude. So based on that, different waves are being present in this cosmic world as well as we could also say that is there are different types of waves but the velocity of each electromagnetic wave is the same that is the speed of light that is 3 into 10 raised to 8 meter per second. So this is the topic that I'm going to explain in brief in my next lecture but let us understand that how the electromagnetic wave propagates. To propagate a wave especially the electromagnetic wave it doesn't require a medium that means it can travel in any direction through any medium. That is the specialty of the electromagnetic wave. So this all were the salient features of the electromagnetic wave. That is what I want to talk about. And that's it. So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have understood this video very clearly. And I hope I'll see you next time. Till then, don't forget to subscribe to channel. Thank you so much.